This conference will now be recorded. Hi, myself, Rami Reddy, and I am having total 11 years of experience, out of which two years of experience is on domain knowledge and nine plus years of experience on SAP. I am working as techno functional consultant in one of the MNC companies. During this nine plus years of tenure, I worked for four end to end implementation projects, six support projects, and nine rollout projects and two uh, upgrade projects. So total somewhere you know, over 20 projects I have been involved. Now, so let us try to understand what is SAP and let us also understand what is this SAP SD module and what kind of work that can be done we as a SAP SD consultants in ERP system, SAP ERP system. Now, SAP stands for systems, SAP stands for systems, applications, and products in data processing. Basically, this SAP ERP will be used to process, to create, and process the data. So SAP is an ERP package or software. What is this ERP package or software? So let us try to understand what is this ERP package. Now, ERP is nothing but enterprise resource planning. So what do you mean by enterprise? Enterprise is nothing but it can be any company or any organization that exists in the market. Now, if we take any company, we will have resources, means company will have resources. What are those resources? Those resources are men, materials, machines, and money. These are the four resources that will be involved in any company. Now, see here, humans. And when we say material, it can be the desktops that is purchased by the company. It can be a chair purchased by the company. It can be plant related materials. So all those things are materials. And obviously, machines, these are machines and finance, so money. And here, intangible things. So basically, intangible things means which we cannot touch and feel. Which, can, which we cannot touch and feel. Say, for example, one software code has been developed. So can we touch the code and feel it? So those things will be intangible. Say, for example, logo of the company. So which we cannot weigh the value of that particular product because you cannot liquid lead that product also. So those are intangible materials. So these four resources will be involved in any company or enterprise. Now, how well these companies will utilize these available resources to maximize the benefits. So for those things, so companies will use ERP softwares. So these ERP packages will help the organizations for effective utilization of the resources that are available to maximize the benefit, means maximize the profits. So that is the ERP. Now, see, ERP is a software and systems used to plan and manage all core supply chain, manufacturing, services, financial, and other processes of the enterprise. Now, ERP covers all techniques and concepts for the best utilization of resources of enterprise to maximize the profits. So that is what we were discussing. So what happens is when any company 
when any enterprise uses erp software for their business then those erp softwares will enable the companies to utilize all those resources in a very effective manner to get the maximum profits so that is the reason why this particular erp software will be used so to maximize the profits now if we look at ERP, so ERP is based on the integrated management of all the departments, integrated management of all the departments in the enterprise. What does it mean? For now, let us consider, since we already know that SAP is also an ERP software, this ERP software is an integrated software. So what does it mean? It means, all different different departments of an organization can be maintain their different different departments data in single erp system that is the reason why we will call this as integrated management means different different modules sd sales and distribution le logistics execution mm material management pp production planning pm plant maintenance plant systems, FI, financial accounting, CO, controlling, HR, etc. So many other modules also integrated in the ERP software. Now, if we look at SD, sales and distribution, what and all the activities the sales and distribution department will be done? So in ERP software, see basically they SAP sales and distribution department will closely work with the customers. What reason? The SD sales and distribution module will have to identify the customers. And then they will have to sell the, they will have to get the orders from the customers and they'll have to sell the products and then they will have to bill. Once the invoice is raised, once, the, once they receive the sales order, then they do delivery. And when they are doing the delivery, obviously transportation will come into picture. And also once the delivery has been done, so then we will have to raise invoice. Then customer will make the payment for the delivery that had happened. So these are the activities which will be done under SD. And as part of SAP SD, we will be learning you know, most of the basic LE also during the course. And when we come to material management department, material management department, what they will do, they will manage the materials. What do you mean by manage the materials? Say for example, if the company is having 50 offices and if among 50 offices, five offices required 100 chairs, say one office 20 chairs, another office 30 chairs or something like that. Now, say it is a software company. Now, the software company will have to procure the materials from someone. So from where they will procure? So the purchasing activity from which vendor they will procure, whether they will procure the chairs from Featherlight or Neil Kamal brand or something, something extra. So who will be purchasing all the materials that are required for the company? So material management department, and we will call this as MM module. And inventory, In inventory is nothing but stock. Let us consider there are some, one company is there for that, there some project came for the project, they have hired 50 members. Now for those 50 members, so they need desktops, chairs, laptops to work on the business, activities so for that reason mm people will procure and keep it in one place particular place it can be a garden so where they will actually those items will be placed that will be taken care by material management why because this module consultants are looking after all these kind of activities in sap erp which means setting up the erp system will be taken care in this area will be taken care by mm consultant same likewise 
for any kind of sales orders receiving customers creation delivery creation transportation activities and invoice rising all these things will be taken care by so setting up the system will be taken care by sd consultant likewise if we go to pp production planning so what do you mean by production planning plan for the production consider take one good day biscuit packet company or cadbury chocolates company now in the month of august in the month of july last year 2019 wow. two crores of two crores of business happened now if two crores of business happened then two crores of products should be manufactured in the month of june this year so that in the july again two crores of business comes in 2020 so that planning will be done by pp production planning department and accordingly they will do the production so production orders will be raised and production will be started and they will ensure that by the month of june two crores of products is manufactured so that the sales department in the month of july they can sell those products so that in the month of july from beginning onwards only all the you know required you know quantity will be available for the sales team see what is happening so like this all the modules like this finance so for example if the mm material management people want to purchase some materials say consider 100 laptops they want to purchase 100 laptops because new employees have joined now see finance team will ensure that they are going to you know uh, issue the money for production department purchases say for example if material management purchasing department has purchased 100 laptops then say consider from you know uh, Lenovo company they have purchased 100 laptops then for that who will issue the finance or whatever the invoice that will be sent by Lenovo company to the purchasing department who will make the payment finance department so finance department will ensure that the effective amount is being spent on purchasing of 100 laptops so how that effectively how much what what amount should be you know given and what amount should be allocated for purchasing department for purchasing 100 laptops all those things how they can effectively manage by using the erp softwares like sap erp so when we look at all these things what we can understand is any departmental data can be maintained within sap erp system and this system is having only one database wherein which all different departments are doing activities all the activities are getting saved in a single central centralized database now just jargons sd means sales and uh, distribution so mm material management fico and so on. now see here how the erp helps the organization to maximize the profits how it will maximize say for example see there are different different modules different different departments basically and these departments are actually entering their departmental related information into the sap system and the entire data is getting stored under one database that is centralized database so what will happen say for example now let us consider the sales department is there now there is a finance department now someone from finance department some management they would want to just know today how much sales had happened what they want to know today how much sale had happened since it is a company there will be so many sales orders that they might have received so many deliveries that they might have done so now 
there is one manager there is one some higher financial some you know uh, vp or somebody who want to just know how many orders they have received now since sd people all the orders where they will enter they will enter into sap system and this sap is using centralized database which means all the transactions which will be done by sd co fi all these modules will be stored here now because of using the centralized database the fi whoever the some manager or whoever if they need any information related to sd they are not required to go to the sd department employees and ask for the information so instead what they can do is they can directly access the centralized database through which they have access and they can take the required data related to sales and at the same time even if some or the other information is required for sd employees for related to mm say for example they want to know some material quantity stock how much is available so all those stocks say for example uh, one uh, chair material is there so the chair material stock they want to know who sd team department some manager they want to know so they need no need to go to mm department employees and take the information instead they can directly access the database through which they have access and from there they can just understand how to search how to look after the uh, quantity information of the chair if they know it once they learn it then any time if they want it they can view from the centralized database so with this what will happen is basically the dependency will will automatically decrease the dependency on the getting the information will get decrease and also the speedy information or the information will be available you know always readily so the data integrity is maximized and the data redundancy is minimized so the data integrity is maximized where in sap why because sap system is using centralized database so data integrity is maximized means different different departments are tightly you know working with single centralized database and data redundancy is minimized what is this data redundancy is minimized which means the duplication of activities duplication of activities are getting reduced now how the duplication will be reduced let us consider that one order came from one customer who will create sd sd users business users will create sales order then once sales order is created say consider for 100 shares sales order is considered for the customer number consider 19 customer is there for the 19 customer he requested for shares of 100 quantity and 100 quantity order is created now then they will create delivery then once delivery is created then they will raise invoice so when the invoice is getting created at the time so it is required for the fi department also to make a note of whom the invoice has been sent in their particular department so to whom the invoice is sent what is the amount and by when this customer has to make the payment for these 100 sheets through this invoice so that information has to be captured in fi department so that if this particular customer 19 number customer 19 if you want to make the payment on time then they can do follow up and they can ask for the payment if that information is not you no know, maintained in fi then at the time there may be a chances that they will lose the money 
so for that reason what will happen is at the time of raising the invoice in sales and distribution side here only automatically sd people only will create an accounting document so when they are doing this accounting document means who will have to pay to whom how much amount then why is the necessary for the fi department also will have to do the same activity so for that reason when the in the sales and distribution when invoice is getting generated automatically even in fi also the entry will be generated in fi department also the entry will be generated so consider if you don't use an erp software then what will happen so sd user also will create this invoice and then again fi there will be one more employee here fi you know employee user and he will also do the same activity accounting which means it is a duplication of work so instead when this is happening if automatically one record will be created in fi department so that will be it is a saving a time of an employee which means you are effectively trying to utilize your resources instead of wasting time on doing the same activity twice so that is how when you use erp software when the invoice is getting generated whichever the department the same information needs to be transferred then the document will automatically transfer that information to the corresponding department so which means here this employee is not required to spend five minutes or ten minutes time on this invoice accounting entry so this is how the redundancy will be it can be minimized wherever it is possible okay as the single storing place of all the data also implies that a given set of data only has one primary record has one primary record what does it mean it means when invoice is getting generated when invoice is getting generated then at the same time the same original entry is going to be a copy of an entry in fi document which means there is no duplication of entries are being done in the sap system so that is the meaning of it now how erp helps the organizations see entire data is available in central database it eliminates the data redundancy means duplications of you know creating data then data is updated and available real time what does it mean updated and available real time now consider you are having a bank account and you are transferring some amount to your friend because your friend requested for 5000 rupees and you are transferring from your account by using mobile application say hdfc bank now as soon as you click on transfer and you, as soon as you click on imps then immediately the amount will be deducted from your account and immediately the same amount will be added to your friend's account to which you have transferred see what is happening here so when you are performing some transaction so immediately all those things are become effective so that is the real time say for example there is a swiggy okay real time available swiggy if you place an order for breakfast then through that swiggy application immediately based on for which hotel you have sent a request for the that hotel cashier or hotel manager will receive the request stating that some customer has placed an order then what he will do he would immediately within few seconds he will confirm your order so how all these things are happening because data is real time always so that is the reason even in sap also we will use okay whenever the update is happening that will be available in real time consider one ceo is here in us america okay so he is in new jersey consider he is in new jersey and there are customers there is a business that is happening in karnataka now 
at the end of the day this guy want to know how much business happened in karnataka is it possible yes it is possible why because as soon as the information is entered in erp system he can also from you know new jersey us he can also access the same database and get the data readily available say for example if the erp software is not used then what will happen if they ask the ask for the information from finance department okay so how much you know sale is happened today maybe okay they will tell say for example five crores business happened today then they will ask for the sales team so can you tell me how many sales orders you have created and how much sale had happened then they may say 5.5 crores why here 5 crores why here 5.5 crores maybe these people are little forward than these people they may be working and there are few pending activities maybe one hour or half an hour pending activity here but here there is no pending activity now when the information same information is asked from different different, different departments so different different numbers are coming now based on the sale this guy who is ceo or some manager he want to take some decision so how can he make decision now is it possible no it is not possible he will get confused why finance department is given different figure and why sales department has different given different figure when i ask for them but is it something somebody is missing no it is not somebody something is missing it is because of time lapse because so much activities have been completed here but so many activities is yet to complete that is the only reason so for that reason so instead of if you if they use erp softwares instead of depending on different different department employees they can only take the data from real time so when we use the concept of real time what happens when the invoice is getting created at the same time automatically an entry also will be posted to fi so due to which what will happen there will not be any differences in the numbers or reports so since every invoice whenever it is created automatically accounting is posted in fi so for that reason if here it is 5.5 crores then here is also a 5.5 crores so that is the benefit of real time that is the benefit of real time database now single point of entry of data so we already discussed best business practices in build so sap erp system is developed by one company sap company so all best practices that are available in the market has been implemented in that erp software when the sap company has developed so modular system which means all modules in one system so modular system is nothing but see all modules means all departments are entering the data into one centralized database that is the meaning of this all modules in the system can implement only required functions can implement only required functions what does it mean it means that say for example if the company is having so many departments financial controlling sales and distribution material management okay financial supply chain management plant maintenance quality management so many departments but client say for example sipla pharmaceutical company this sipla pharmaceutical company just want to implement financial and accounting and sales and distribution and they want to see how well that will help the business based on the improvements based on the benefits based on the analysis then they can proceed implementing material management plant maintenance quality management production planning logistics execution things like that so that is also a benefit so can implement only required functions 
other functions can be implicated later so what does it mean the same thing if they have initially if they have went for only with a fico sd and mm and in future they want to implement pp also it can be done without any obstacles now management can utilize their time in analysis and can spend less time in coordination efforts now consider if the erp software is not being used by the company okay then this ceo will have to send an email to finance department to get the information as well as sales department to get the information a specific information so now what will happen so it is a time so they will have to wait for the replay from finance department as well as mm department so all these are time waste so that is the reason so instead of okay they run they can instead of doing the coordination they can utilize their time for analysis by directly taking all required information from erp system improves the customer satisfaction how the customer satisfaction can be improved say for example if everything is being recorded in the system then you actually can perform all customer related transactions fastly say consider in the past say for our parents generation they have when they were at our ages they did not see the technologies which means say for example if they need any you know uh, if they have any work with any government offices they used to go to the government office today and they used to ask for some you know land related document or something when they go to the government office any register office or something at the time they will take the request and they will write a challenge or some receipt and they will tell okay come two days later then we will search in the books and we will keep it ready then you can take it so why what is the reason behind it the reason behind it is for the employee for the person who is working in the office to process that to identify that it will take some time so those differences can be minimized when the erp software has been used now features of sap software so what are the features of sap software the main features of sap is integration through integration of sap software the companies experience great efficiency and productivity so all the employees who are working in different different departments will only have an option to work on the things which have not yet done by other people means duplication of work can be eliminated due to which whatever the work they are doing it will be very efficient sap software is ready to use what does it mean sap is an erp software which is already developed by sap company okay and it is ready to use nothing to be done much so solutions are already developed for all the departments in the form of modules so say for example when we say f5 module means all the business functionalities all the data related to financial and accounting can transactions can be done from this particular fi module any related sales and distribution transactions creation of customer master creation of inquiry document creation of quotation document creation of sales order creation of delivery document creation of invoice all these transactions can be done in sap sd module which is already developed by sap so that is the meaning each module of sap is tightly integrated with other modules so that the flow of information across the department is default so as we discussed since these different different modules are tightly integrated when we create an invoice automatically in fi also one general entry will be posted so why it is posting in fi department because 
these modules are tightly integrated and they are using centralized database. Now for your information, since it is very crucial part, let me create one sales order, create one delivery, create one invoice and show you how when invoice is getting created, how the FI postings will happen in the system. Now, let me just log in. One second, say minimize, log into SAP. Don't worry about this, log into SAP and all. We will be discussing all these things in later part. I'm just logging to SAP. Now, I am going to create a sales order. So no need to focus on what I am doing. Just see what how that things will happen. So I'm entering something. No need to worry about all these things. Now I am trying to sell 100 quantity of one material. And now I am trying to sell 100 of quantity of one material. Now who is the customer? See here, 19, customer number 19, enter. So for this customer, see who is this Apollo hospitals for this customer. See, there is a material. What is this? This material material name. This is what material number like say, for example, if. Uh, okay, continue. No problem. So this is a material. How many quantities say consider this is a material, this material number and the name is vitamin D vitamin D material, I want to sell 100 quantity, click on enter. So basically, I am creating what standard order for whom for this customer, for how many materials 100 materials. So if I'm trying to create a sales order for 100 quantity, then what is the price for each material? that also should be there. So that will be taken care by SD module. Where is it? Where you can see? I'll just double click on this. This is the item information. If I go to conditions, it is telling for each item, for one item, it will take 100. After that, zeros. So 100 rupees. Since it is 100 items, so 100 hundreds, which means 10,000 rupees is the total amount. See? net amount that customer will have to pay is 10,000. Now, this customer wants one more material that is this. Maybe it is vitamin C. He wants how many? 10 items. Possible? Many items you can purchase if you go to, you know, uh, any, you know, a big bazaar, start bazaar, all, all those things for shopping. You will purchase many items. So he is also purchasing some other item. So you see here, each item how much? 200. So since he is purchasing 10 items, 200 into 10, how much? 2000. So this item, number two, number 20. So this particular item, since the customer is purchasing 10 quantity, so the price. How all these things are happening? This work is done by SD consultant. We, we are the people who will set up the system to automatically determine different different prices, different different discounts, different different surcharges, means transportation charges, picking charges, packing charges, loading charges, and also taxes. Taxes for each and every material may be different, or for group of materials, taxes may be different. If you take a training from any institute, then 18% tax should be paid. If you go to hotel and consume the food, then you have to pay 5% of tax, CGST 2.5%. So how all these things will be implemented? That is SAP SD activity. We are the one who will set up this ERP system to work in such a manner the SAP will be utilized by the client for which we are implementing SAP. Now, what will be the total amount of this order? So 2000 plus the previous item, 10,000, which is 12,000. If you go back, see here, total net value the customer will have to pay is 12,000. Yes, of course, there is no discount provided. There is no transportation charges applied. There is no picking, packing charges. There is no taxes applied. But during the class, we will be setting up the system to identify all those things with the different, different values. So now the order is created. Is everything information is complete? 
yes it is complete i'll just say save it now what i do since it is just an order like you know in swiggy when you place an order does that mean delivery happen no right once the delivery guy delivery person comes to your home and deliver then only delivery will be completed right now consider that this particular order delivery we are performing so now i'll click on deliver and i'll enter this no need to focus on these things okay does not exist okay it is still saving in the database okay so See, system is still trying to store the data in the database. That is the reason why it is coming. Okay, fine. So, now what I'm, there was some warning message which came. So to avoid that warning message, I am going to a specific location for which you need to worry about for now. So we will be learning all these things. Now let us create a delivery for this. Okay. And now say, for example, I'll put that date for which the quantity is confirmed. Say so click on enter. Since we need to do the delivery for this particular customer, okay, of these two items, first we will have to pick from our storage location. So many things we will have to pick. Let us pick 100 items. See picking. So 100 items from this storage location we have picked, and these 10 items we have picked. And then what we do is we will load it into the truck. So consider that we have picked and we have loaded. And so when what is the date? So today will put it's, it's a tomorrow's date today only we have loaded into the truck and then what we do we will send the truck to the customer's place which customers hospital so and so see 60 street so and so bangalore now what we do let us send the truck from the plant now what will happen now let us create a billing document now say invoice basically let us create a invoice for this same document now we are going to create an invoice okay it is storing the data in the database taking little time see here the invoice we are creating see here invoice what is this invoice see invoice so this this for this item 10,000 this item 2,000 now what we do we will just click on save so 12,000 customer will pay through this invoice now let us display this one invoice 9003986 let us display the invoice now we will go to accounting what is that go to accounting when we go to the accounting when we create an invoice in you know sales and distribution see automatically in fi this accounting entry has been generated see generally this accounting will be done by fi consultant but how this is automatically been done here see customer this is the customer he will have to pay to the 12000 rupees which means customer account should debit say what is that number number is 01 let's just let me check what is the posting key is 01 01 means what see here debit or credit so it is debit so customer account is debiting and so company account is this so company account 10000 2000 it is credit so 
what financial uh, department has to do the same thing is being see it is credited so credit debit entry it is credited like this so as we discussed in here so we have seen that so there is a automatic entry generated in the respective department we discussed earlier so this fi so when we create some transaction in this particular sd automatically in this sd when we create an invoice when we create an invoice invoice automatically an account entry will be generated in fi so that is how the entry that we have seen is accounting entry that is automatically generated which means they don't need to spend time on this so that is how the system are being integrated tightly now erp product e, e erp products in the market okay how many different different erp products are available there are a lot more erp products are available say sap erp product oracle is an erp product ban is an erp product peoplesoft is an erp product but if anyone is using oracle as an erp product then this oracle erp software is specialized in management of financial department and record keeping and record record keeping what does it mean it means if you want to maintain the transactions related to sd you cannot do it in oracle only the financial department related transactions can be done in oracle erp system likewise if you if we take bond specialized in management of production department what does it mean pp production planning so if you ask the bond erp software to maintain the transactions that happen in sd is it possible not possible why because this is specially specialized and specially defined designed for maintaining the transactions related to production activities same way likewise if you take the people soft the people soft is specialized in the management of human resources hr department so any any activity related to hr how many employees when new employee came what is his first name what is his last name what is his date of birth what is his bank account details what is his pan card details what which project he is working for all these transactions all this information can be maintained in peoplesoft if you ask peoplesoft erp software to maintain the information related to le it is not possible but the uniqueness of sap erp software is e sap erp software has capability to provide solutions for any department of the organization that is the kind of tight integration that is being implemented in sap erp product so this is the only reason why this erp product is so popular why because we have hundreds of erp softwares that are available in the market like oracle barn people soft but all the erp softwares which are available in the market can provide solutions for either one department or at max two departments only but there is only one erp software that is sap erp software which is having capability to provide solutions for all departments of an organization so that is the reason why most of the major companies in the world will use sap erp software now sap erp was developed by a company called sap ag sap ag so sap ag company was founded in 1972 by five ibm employees in 1972 they have resigned from ibm and they have found sap ag company where in waldorf germany and then the sap ag has been changed to sap st se in the far in june 2014 only the legal status just they want to make okay the change was just done 
to underline SAP's internationality. That's it. There is nothing much. There is uh, European Union Association. So there are some you know, legal laws, corporate laws, and based on those laws, they wanted to make the company internationally by considering European Union laws. For that reason, in the month of June 2014, they have renamed SAP AG to SAP SE. Otherwise, there is no change. Now, SAP SE company has over 4,25,000 customers, which means 4, 20, over 4,25,000 companies are using SAP products over 180 countries. So almost all major companies in the world are using SAP ERP software. Now, what is the ERP software evaluation? From when this ERP software has came into the market? So this ERP software came into the market in the year 1973. 1972, they found it. And 1973, the first version of SAP system came. And what kind of system it is? R1 system, real-time one-tire architecture. What is one-tire architecture? That we will see later. And the next evaluation is in 1979, R2 system. Means real-time two-tire architecture. What is this two-tire architecture? We will look into it later. And then the major uh, release was R3 system, Enterprise Edition 1.0, that is launched in, came to the market in July 1992. Then version ECC came when in the month of June 2004. What do you mean by ECC? ECC is nothing but ERP central component. They have just renamed R3 to ECC. That's it. But this ECC also will use R3 concept only. Real-time three-tier architecture only. Only the name change happened from R3 to ECC. Now, SAP, this is version 5 came in June 2004. And the next major release, that is version 6, came in October 2005. And then SAP ECC 6, EHP 1, which we call as enhancement package, came in December 2006. And the current SAP version, latest version is ECC 6 and enhancement package is 8. Enhancement package 8. Okay. I So EA 1 is there. So current version, it's not uh, recorded. Current version is uh, EHP, ECC 6 version, EHP 8. Okay. So anyhow, we will get it in the other nodes. So what is the now, let us understand what is the you know, different SAP systems architecture. We've seen R1, we have seen R2, we have seen R3. So let us try to understand what is R1, R2, R3. Now consider. See, one tire means all three layers, database layer, application layer, and presentation layer will be in your computer. What does it mean? Now, you may be at your home using either desktop or laptop. Now, in the desktop or laptop, you might have installed MS Office. So .exe file, you might have installed. So when you install .exe file, all the database related, all the client related, all the programs which are written for MS Office, all the things are in your system only, in your laptop only. That is one tire architecture. So example is MS Office that you have implemented. Yeah, what is MS Office? MS Office is Word, Excel, PowerPoint that you are using in your laptop. That is one tire architecture. Why? Because all these three layers are in the in your system itself. You no need 
internet connection or you no need to connect to server why because all these software layers are in your system only so you no need internet now then what is two tier architecture two tier architecture is nothing but see here you have your system your laptop and you have the server where in which you connect it to now consider that consider whatsapp whatsapp now can you access whatsapp without internet connection no not possible at all why because your database layer as well as your application layer which means programs application layer is basically programs these are in whatsapp server these are in where whatsapp server then what you have in your mobile in your mobile you will have small piece of uh, software which he, which we will call it as client server client application so if you want to you do the chart using whatsapp first you will have to download a piece of software which is whatsapp you will go to the you know uh, play store or you will go to google and you will download it that is the client software which is there in your mobile and the database and the application means programs are in whatsapp server which is owned by company whatsapp company or facebook company so that is the reason if you don't have internet connectivity you cannot connect to this server you cannot chat say for example you have if you have stopped your internet connectivity in the night before you sleep and in the morning when you wake up you have just switched on the gprs connect, i mean internet then automatically messages will fall from where it will fall from it here it will fall to your mobile why because it is a client server architecture this is one answer now three tier architecture what do you mean by three tier architecture three tier architecture means database is separate separated programs are separated and your desk is separated so all these three things are maintained in different different layers here all three at one place here database and the programs one place and only client application different place here all the three has been separated so that the maintenance of the client software the maintenance of the programs the maintenance of the database will become easy now let us see come to the sap r3 enterprise edition sap r3 is a three tier architecture what do you mean by that so all three layers have been separated which means if you want to expand the program server you can expand if you want to add few more you know clients machines you can add it or if you want to increase the size of the database you can increase irrespective of the increase or decrease of other things now see what is this abap abap is nothing but advanced business application programming this sap erp software is developed and the major programming language used in developing sap erp software is abap programming language it is a fourth generation programming language abap 4 and this is the sap erp architecture now in sap we have so many versions out of which version 5 version 6 version 7 and version 8 any one of these you can implement I mean uh, any one of these you can install in your systems for practice purpose not before ehp 5 ecc 6 version ehp either 5 you can use it or 6 you can use it or 7 you can use it or 8 you can use it all are almost similar there is no major changes while practicing you have to use only these ehp packages of ecc 6 version 
Now in SAP, different, different modules. What and all the modules are there? Just I have listed out CSD, sales and distribution. What is a material management, production planning, quality management, and things like that. You can just go through it. Now, SAP having technical modules as well as functional modules. Technical modules, whoever will work, have to work on technical modules, then they should know ABAP or other technical things. Say, for example, if you have, see here, basis. What is this basis? What do you mean by basis? Basis is nothing but business, application, systems, integration, solution. So business application system integrated solution, you can consider this as operating system for a web. If you purchase a laptop, you need one operating system. You will purchase any one Windows operating system, Windows 10 or 8 or XYZ. Same way, if the ABAP has to be implemented, it has to be implemented, so me, sorry, SAP ERP software has to be implemented, then first they'll have to implement this basis, which means administration activities for the SAP ERP software. Then over that, the SAP ERP will be implemented. We can consider that this basis is an operating system for SAP ERP. And that is also owned by SAP company only. And what are the technical modules? These are the technical modules. ABAP, Advanced Business Application Programming Basis. It is also, if you want to become an ABAP consultant, it is also one module. Then we have to learn ABAP programming language, ABAP. ABAP 4, which is fourth generation programming language. But if you look at here, functional modules, so all these are HR, SD, MM, FICO, PS, TR, so many other functional modules are also there. I'll be sharing at least 40 different, different functional modules. So if you want to learn these modules, so you no need to have any programming knowledge irrespective of any programming language, knowledge or experience, you can learn any functional module as well as SD also. Now, in SAP, we have generally four kinds of projects. What are those projects? Implementation project, support project, rollout project, upgrade project. So what does it mean? It means that once you get an opportunity in any one company, based on the company requirements, say consider you got an opportunity from Infosys company. So Infosys company may have n number of implementation projects ready for you, or n number of support projects ready for you, or n number of rollout, or n number of upgrade projects ready for you. What does it mean? It means, they may place you in any one of these projects and you should be able to work on any project. And during our course, this is what we are going to learn. We will take implementation project. We will start from scratch and we will add, so end to end. So that is what we call as end to end projects. Initially I told, I worked on four end to end implementation projects. That is what, so from initial requirements gathering to till go live, till go live. So that is the end to end implementation project. And how we as a SAP SD consultants, what and all the activities that we will be doing in each and every project and how we will fulfill those activities is what we are going to see during our entire course. And these are the only four projects that we have in SAP SD or SAP ERP software. Then roles and responsibilities of functional consultants. See, what is our roles? What will we generally do? We will collect the business, we will collect the business requirements from customers, clients, we will prepare functional specification documents. Okay, now you will not be understanding what is the requirement, what and all the requirements that is being given by the customer, same thing, we will put it in one document. We will we'll, we'll organize the way we will prepare it. 
how we will prepare it that we will be looking into it and do necessary configurations if it is required why because system is already developed but based on your client needs and requirements if here are there some configurations needs to be made then those things we can do configurations are not related to program okay understand this don't think that if you want to do configuration you want to know program we want to know programming language no configurations nowhere related to programming languages now what and all the changes or what and all the things that we have done we will do the testing and we will confirm everything is working fine then when you are working as a sap functional sd consultant at that time if for your requirement if any program changes are needed what you have to do you will have to send this document that is the reason why you are preparing this document and you will tell you have, you will give it to abapers means abaper no technical consultant you will send this functional specification document and abaper will do necessary program changes based on your functional specification requirement which is collected from the customer or client once the abaper is developed programs then that is where you will go and test it so this entire process as we discussed this entire implementation process from beginning to end we will be looking during the course now what is sap sd sap sd is sales and distribution is one of modules of sap erp as we know it encloses all information regarding customer and services in an organization it deals with shipping selling and transportation of goods and services just now we have seen creation of sales order is selling shipping we created delivery document we did pga post goods issue means truck is leaving from the manufacturing plant which will reach to the customer and we have done the goods issue as well as it can be a services also services means let us say consider there is one company where they will sell only services consider hdfc bank do you have any product which we can touch and feel from hdfc bank no they might be having personal loan that is service they might be having mutual funds those are services if something happened to you then i will connect you then you will pay for the premium then if something happens to you i will connect you to the hospital who will provide you the service but are they actually doing it they are not doing anything so those kind of service those things we will call it as services so sap sd is you know specially designed to facilitate the following business processes in the enterprise enterprise company what are those creation of customer how you create customer master how you create material master okay and how you create sales order how you create delivery how you create pricing we just now seen it okay pricing how that pricing discounts how each and every material company is having unilever company is having thousands of lakhs of products how are you going to maintain different different price for different different material how are you going to maintain different different discounts for different different material how are you going to maintain based on country the taxation slab will change for the same material how are you going to maintain so all those things can be done using sap sd module and we will set up the system to do all these activities by client employees we as a sap sd consultants daily from morning to evening we will not sit in client's place we will not in sit in company's place and create sales order delivery building no we will set up the system in such a way that how they can develop the yes. it is like just once you set up the system then daily regular process they will create sales orders their your client employees will create users they will define the price they will what you do 
you set up the system as to how to maintain the prices, then you give the training to the users. They are basically client employees. Then they will keep on doing day in and day out. During the course, any pricing for any material, if it is not picked, if he is not able to understand what it is at the time, he will come back to you. At that time, you just look into it and you see what went wrong and you correct it. Like how I, when I was creating a delivery document at the time, the date issue came. I went to the order, I take it. Maybe that information this user was not knowing because of that he raised the issue, then you would guide them. So you have missed a process flow. So you go here, you take this, instead of putting that date, you mention this date, it will work. Maybe process gap, you will get some issues or there may be issue in the system. So that issue, what is it that we will see and we will correct it. That is our activity. It is our activity, daily activity is not, uh, you know, whenever Swiggy is raising an order, go sit and do, no, that is not our, our work. Our work is setting up the system based on customer needs and requirements. So below are some of the key areas covered by the modules. So pre-sales, pre-sales means what? Before selling. Before selling means what? There are few people will come and do inquiry, say a shopping mall. Now we will call it window shopping. So that is pre-sales activity. Or you go and do some pre-sales activities like you know, uh, you will uh, run some promotions. Okay, all those things. So comprising inquiry and quotations. Sales order processing. We just now seen how to create a sales order. Shipping includes outbound delivery. Okay, document creation. Just now we created an outbound delivery document. Billing, which takes into account both billing document as well as invoice creation. We have just now seen it. So these are the things, how the system is automatically creating. There is something which we have done behind the screens. So those things is the configurations. So how we will do it? All those configurations we will be looking after. Though, so characteristics, okay, of SD includes implementation of business processes used in selling. Any different, different business process, maybe each and every company, the way that they do business is different. If you go to Cipla company, their way, their model of selling the products is different. If you go to Pfizer company, which is the world's largest pharmaceutical company, the way they do the business, the day where they distribute the uh, no, or products is different. So accordingly, we will set up the system by doing some configurations. And if program changes are need required, then we will take a help from the technical consultant and then we will proceed further to complete the client's requirement to fulfill the client's requirement. So building goods issue, all those things we have seen it. So integrates data flow to remaining modules. Just now one example, we have seen it. When we create an invoice automatically in finance department, the accounting entry is getting generated. So that is the level of integration we have in SAP SD, which means basically why it is being done? Because other person from FI department, they do not want to spend time on the same activity. Why it is required? When somebody is doing from some other department, then why then why is it necessary for the other department to, to do the same activity? So to minimize that duplication of activity only, they are using the ERP softwares. So this SAP ERP is designed in multiple languages. Say for example, if we take Japan. So when I visited Japan, I have literally seen minimum 80% of people do not know English. Now tell me, if SAP ERP doesn't have a language, Japanese language, then what will happen? The SAP company will lose the Japanese market. Why? Because most of the users, most of the employees, they don't know how to operate the English system. So it is not difficult, it is difficult for them. So for that reason, this SAP ERP is uh, designed for almost all the major languages that we see in the world. French language, German language, Japanese language, Chinese language, English, so like that. 
international regional major international regional languages it is been developed so which means if you are a japanese guy you log in to sap with the japanese language then all the information all the fields all the descriptions will be shown in japanese language how it will be all those things will be seen so several languages can be used conversions between the currencies is automatic what does it mean it means your company is in india and you have one customer in us your currency is inr and the us company us your customer is in terms of dollars now when you raise an invoice since your company is in india it will show say for example 75 rupees then automatically when invoice go to your us customer system sap erp system automatically it converts this 75 rupees as one dollar and the information will be sent and he will pay in the form of one dollar and you will receive in the form of 75 rupees how it is possible it is possible because the conversion between currencies is automated in sap erp software so this is the characteristic why we are discussing this is because it is so important for us because the company will be dealing with the customers across the world maybe your presence is one country means your company presence but you, you may be having customers across the world so how it, how will you deal with the currencies so that can be dealt very easily in sap erp software see adaptable functionality see r3 customized okay okay the production through the img function so you can do all the customizations which means configurations you can do all configurations there is one place called implementation guide what is this implementation guide that is the place where all functional consultants will do their configurations so where is this implementation guide how we will do configurations under implementation guide which areas we will do configurations what kind of configurations we will do all those things is what we are going to learn during our course and pricing flexibility we were just discussing about it that is related to st so you can create complex pricing schemas means pricing procedures wherein which when you create this schemas when you create this procedure automatically the procedure will determine different different materials different different price so that is the schema that we are going to do that schema all those things we will call it as configuration for that no programming language needed so we will do all these schemas and all all those things is a part of functional configuration now rebates processing say for example rebate rebate processing means say for example some client will say that if any customer okay will purchase one fan then they will get 10% discount say 10000 is the fan 1% discount means 1000 is discount and customer will have to pay 9000 and he can take the fan to their home but that is a discount when they get they get immediately but rebate is something which they will get under certain condition say for example in entire 2020 if any customer purchases okay say 1000 fans 1000 fans then at the end of the year december after december 31st 31st they will search how many customers have purchased 1000 funds and if they have purchased they will give 2% extra additional discount but when it is getting they are getting after completion of duration and once the customer meets that requirement what is that condition requirement condition 1000 fans should be price if some customer has purchased 950 he will get nothing 
but a normal discount regularly when he is purchasing at that time you'll get it so basically discount we will get immediately at the time of purchasing the product but all these rebates we will get after fulfilling certain condition that is you purchase 1000 fans within the year 2020 then you will get 2% additional rebate that will be settled maybe after end of the year maybe next year january january 1st to january 5th something like that so that is the difference so all these things will be dealt with in sap sd and a simple order entry okay we have seen it order entry okay from this window so there is simple we have seen it effective batch processing what is this effective batch processing so effective batch processing is nothing but say for example you have 100 customers sales order information in excel okay now you want to create sales orders automatically by taking information from excel excel sheet is it possible yes it is possible through batches you can do it or else from morning to evening you have done the deliveries means you have sent to the goods delivered the goods to the customers but in the evening okay after closing hours maybe evening eight o'clock at once for all the deliveries invoices to be generated and automatically it should go to the customer so how automatically will happen it will have it is happening through the batch at 8 pm you can set up a batch and that batch will pick all the deliveries that you have done for today and for those all deliveries it will create a invoice and it will send so that is the batch so instead of users creating one by one one by one one by one automatically you can set up one batch for 8 pm and at that 8 pm system will automatically enter into the system and it will search all the deliveries that are being created today and for all those deliveries invoices will be created automatically so of course there will be some programs behind it which will take care of you know searching on the basis of date today's date and take the deliveries and run some other program and create an invoice through which you can do so these activities will be can be done or can be utilized under sd now other topics apart from the core sap sd what are we going to learn as we seen just now sd with fico integration in the billing document one entry was posting in financial department, general entry, one account debit, another account credit. That is basically FY. Same way, what and all the integrations that are there between SD and MM as well as SD and FICO. We just focused on only one entry, but there may be many more entries. All those entries we will look after. And it is real-time business process, okay? and there are some real time business processes which will be used by your client so all those processes since sap company how sap company can guess all world, all the businesses in the world and put all the processes in a standard erp software not possible right so for that reason anything specific to your client if that is not there in standard erp system then what we do we will implement it means we will set up the system so how we will set up that is what that is the reason why we are getting the jobs if the setup is not there if everything is ready made then why they need consultants not required right so this setup the additional thing the dependency of 20 percent is what our work now project closing procedures so once any project comes what we do what kind of documents we prepare and how we prepare how we will close any data migrations will be there so if they are having at some historical data maybe the business is being run from last 10 20 years so all those data how we will have to upload how we will have to ensure what kind of documents we have to prepare before we submitting it to the client so all those procedures we will be discussing closing procedures and tips on ABAP and basis modules so maybe some how to debug some programs okay and is there any some t codes which will be helpful for us in terms of
uh, is it standing the admit necessary because there are so many cases where we will we have to discuss we will have to deal uh, with uh, uh, the basis consultants and above consultants so what and all the dependencies that we as a sap sd consultant have and for what purposes we will reach to those module consultants is what we will be discussing as part of other topics so that it will be clear for us as to when we should go with to a web team when we should go to basis technical teams and at the end so training methodology so training methodology basically how are we going to proceed with our training so during our training topic by topic theory will be explained say for example there is one topic called enterprise structure what do we mean by enterprise structure what we do how we do okay is there any prerequisites that we should know before we doing any configuration or something so all those theory will be explained topic pricing what is pricing why it is needed for us account group what is that account group what is that topic account group theory we will discuss for 10 minutes and the configuration we will do for one and a half hour so like that theory topic by topic we will discuss and then we do configuration and then wherever it is needed all those documents will be provided for the configurations step by step configurations is what we do when we do the configurations if it is required for you to have the configuration related screenshots that will be provided i will show you how we will how uh, we will be getting the notes and the recordings class by class that we will be seeing in two three minutes so testing of configurations once we do how are we going to test it and viewing relevant reports say for example as we discussed you know ceo needs all sales orders information all invoices how many invoices created so all those reports how we can view it how we can generate it which is related to sap sd is what we are going to look at and also you will get all the t codes transactions codes from where you can actually trigger those reports because that is important for us because we should know where you can take which report so for that we have t codes so that t codes list also will be will be provided for the sd reports and question and answers on each topic during and end of the each topic or class so maybe today you are not discussing but going forward whenever you get any doubt you can unmute yourself during the class and you can get the clarification clarified then and there itself now training materials which materials i'll be providing so real time business documents templates what do you mean by real time business document templates say for example we were talk we were discussing there is a functional document specification we will prepare it so how are you what is the template how it looks like so all those templates will be shared okay it is better if i show you let me see okay before that let me explain this so that is a real time business document templates so your functional specification test case document test review document all those templates how it looks like what we use in real time the same thing will be shared with you so that it will be a sync what you are learning and what you do when you get into the project there will not be any discrepancy configuration documents i'll provide you configuration document one sample document so that you will have a real time business feel real time job working feel and also once you get into any project how you have to prepare configuration document you will come to know and uat document user acceptance test document whatever we have tested whether we have to submit it to the client for their evaluation they will go through it they will also test from their side so user acceptance test document how how it looks like how do we prepare those documents will be we will see it now in few minutes so user manual documents so what and all the user manual say for example if you purchase one sony tv you will get one user manual if you purchase one laptop 
you will get a user manual same way when you have implemented sap how business will come to know how to use it you have to prepare user manual how are we going to prepare this user manual documents that also we will see and also i'll provide you some user manuals as part of the course and additional class notes every day whenever we discuss i will be you know explaining some information like you know when we are in college at the time our lecturers will write something on the board and we will take notes same way i myself will take the notes during the class and the same excel will be sent to you along with that class recording and the recording you will get within four hours of completion of the class why because if anybody misses the classes then they will have time to go through the recording by the time the next class they arrive then each class recording for future reference so you can view this recording even in future also even while working also you can refer to it interview questions and answers for each and every topic i'll be providing interview questions and answers and if you go through all those interview questions and answers believe me it is a just a cake work you can easily crack the interviews if you attend if you sit in three interviews you will crack the one interview for sure but for that what are all the things that we are going to discuss all the things you should be up to date no need to google research no need to do other analysis no need to go behind any other questions or answers you just need to follow what and all the questions and the answers that we have as part of our course is more than enough so my side i am done thank you but before i close it i will show you the documents and then after that we will be open for the questions that you have so let me just a minute just a minute okay fine so i'll show you all the documents some some of the sample documents uh, let us say few documents see here few of the documents see here control screens we have screens we have fields which screen which field we have so if you want to understand see here like this some control screens where the screen in which we want to know which field is available in which screen some major important screens i have prepared this particular one you will get it now see from see how the classroom notes will be like say for example how the route will be determined for the customer when you are doing the delivery automatically route will be determined so how it will be determined see this is a classroom notes like that i'll write a path where you have to go how you have to go where you have to do what and delivery scheduling so something some explanation and what is it some information so route determination if if you want to do some configuration see in this screen you are going to do some configuration where you have to go from where you need to click where you have to come and here what you need to do like that you will have screen charts also on class by class wherever it is required and delivery scheduling see here what is the path you have to first enter spro then go here see first year click on spro then go to you know sales and distribution so some path will be there like that you will be provided so classroom notes looks like this i'll be showing you the see functional or technical document when you prepare a document what is a template how the template looks like so this is how functional or technical specifications document template looks like this so this how are we going to fill what is it this is exactly the same thing that we are going to use in real time if you are able to work with this template you can work in any project and you can create functional specification document 
now i dug some it is my information my presentation when i was in one of uh, the mnc company at that time for presentation like this any additional documents we have i have so i'll be sharing those documents which will be very much helpful for you so such kind of documents so wherever it is possible like this see we have lsmw where in which if you want to migrate some data from excel sheets okay to sap system how you have to do this is what and course training syllabus what and all the contents we will cover there is a one more pdf also that pdf i will be sending after the class I mean within four hours like you will be getting the uh, recording so along with the recording the pdf course contents with elaborated manner is there so those course contents i'll be sending with you and see each and every sap consultants what will be their roles and responsibilities like that see there will be many additional documents which will be provided and if you read this and if you sit with any of the you know technique I mean, real time consultant then they will exactly say that you no need to do anything other than what is being written here but having noted will not serve our job so along with that we will have to learn each and every line whatever it says we should know as to how to perform the activity also so that is what we are going to learn see sap product erp product what is it what do you mean by package database operating system erp software information and technical consultants what they actually do and basis consultant what they actually do and there is a translator something called as process integration and things like that what they do so there is a lot of information which that is the reason why i am saying you no need to do any research this is more than enough and servers what kind of architecture is there and blueprint so requirements when we gather the requirements at the time how we will prepare the document just a sample document how it looks like real time exactly the blueprint looks exactly the same no change at all and configuration document how you prepare configuration document how it looks like so there are so much of information so if you go through only these things it is more than enough for you to get see intercompany process intercompany sto is one of the major process in sap sd so how we do during the class how we will explain so this is how i'll put all these things when I, when i explain if any you know any image or something is needed in that manner i'll try to explain in a better way to make you understand so like this you'll be getting all the materials that is the reason why i say see test case document when you want to create a test document so when you once you created a once you have done a testing so how will you capture those testing activities what is it how we will fill it all those things information is available see all these are real time activities which we will be done see user manual documents so whenever you purchase something you will get your more if you even if you purchase mobile also you will get user manual you it's a instructions as to how to use that mobile or device same way instructions how to create a sales order how to create a delivery why how do they know you wish when you implement it they don't know anything about it so how the user manuals will be prepared sales and distribution user manual how it looks like what and all we listed how it is so it is very professional our documents are very professional and you no need to do even one percent in addition to this in real time if you do it this is the best document user manual document that you can do this is how we will do the user manual document so all possible documents all information will be provided to you so these are the few samples now i will just final one minute i will just show you how day in daily daily recordings and notes you will get on class daily class basis now i'll just go to this this sap so sd mmf okay sd sap sd so here we'll be running so evening batches we'll be running morning batches we'll be running week week end batches morning one batch i'll run evening one batch i'll run and weekend two batches will be there so any batch if you wish to opt you can opt now if i go to open evening and if i scroll down so if i double click on this 
see here this is how every day class recordings will be this like this now if i click on any one see part 24 15th june see here this is the recording this is the recording and this is the notes associated to that particular class and this is the classroom notes so if i double click on this see here during the class we have created some documents those documents i have given it as a reference for the students so that they can go through it and also there will be some important you know transaction codes or something so all these things will be provided like this this is more than enough for you to correct the interview so wherever there is a diagram necessity is there i'll put the diagrams and this is the classroom notes and as part of the theoretical definitions or something like that see this is the notes that is associated to that class. see sap sales and distribution what do you mean by inquiry what do you mean by quotation what do you mean by order so this is how you'll be getting notes for each and every class and this is the recording just double click on it and you can view the recording so this is how you can view all these things it is very easy so that is how you will be getting day in and day out you'll be getting the recordings so like this see if you go click anywhere you have a recording you have a classroom notes associated with that see notes some notes some this this like this see maybe there is no notes available there is no notes required for this so that is the reason why during that class they might have got only recording like this and coming to the classes for your batch so the class will be from 9 30 to somewhere around 10 15 or 10 20 since it was a just a you know uh, demo class i have took more time so otherwise it will not be so much it will be somewhere around from 9 30 to 10 45 somewhere around 10 45 depends on the topic and about the classes weekday cla weekday batches from monday to friday classes and from monday to friday somewhere around one hour 15 minutes will be the class either it is a morning or it is in the evening but for weekend batches weekend batches there will be two and a half hours of class and i am done with my uh, introduction class so now we are open to the questions so you can ask me any questions that you have i'll just stop the recording but still we can continue with our questions and answers thank you